welcome again to Hidden Spotlight Treasures. We were going through our Sig Sokowitz files and we found something very, very interesting. Actually, historic documents from World War II. Sig was from Chicago. Here he is on his local TV show. He was a radio TV personality. From time to time, we will be going through his files and showing you some of the interesting people he, has, he met in his career. Now today, we are going to be presenting Colonel Francis Gabby Gabreski. He was an American fighter ace. He, was, he had Polish ethnic background. He was from Pennsylvania. He died when he was 83 years old, but apparently he was pretty good friends with SIG, and they kept in contact. And I'm going to go over the file. This is the file that SIG Sakowitz had on Gabreski. Apparently his name was, his nickname was Gabby. He was a colonel and he was one of the top fighter pilot aces in World War II. So let's go through some of these documents and see what we have here. So in this letter here dated 1965, apparently he was with the 52nd fighter wing. Now during World War II, I believe he was with the 56th. So in this letter, the colonel is corresponding with SIG. Maybe they'll meet up in New York. And that's where the colonel was the commander of the base. This is an interesting letter because SIG says he'll be in London, Paris, and Rome and do some filming in the Vatican. And uh, keep on going here. Another interesting letter where SIG says that the colonel did a good job on the Carson show. You got to remember the colonel was a fighter ace. He was sort of like a hero from World War II. And in this letter here, it states, yes, the colonel commands the New York 52nd fighter wing. And it goes on to say, maybe they'll catch up some other time in New York. Polish connection to his Polish ethnic background. Now this is an interesting form right here. It says his decoration, military decorations and service medals, but on the back of this paper it's even more interesting because it has his official aerial combat kills. Because we know for sure, I think he shot down at least 28 Nazi aircraft. So let's go in the back. Here we go. Yeah, credits for destruction of enemy aircraft, aerial combat. Now these would have been in Germany. Most of these would have been in Germany. He was credited with shooting down many, many Nazi aircraft. And he was a World War II fighter ace, national hero. So I think these documents are pretty historic, and I just wanted to share them. Remember, we have a huge, large collection, one of the largest collections west of the Mississippi. We're going to be finding many, many interesting things, and when I see it, I'm just going to make a quick video and bring it to you because you never know somebody out there may enjoy this. There could even be family members. There could be uh, family members. He had nine children. Apparently, I believe he had nine children. I can imagine how many great-great-grandchildren. And maybe some of them have never even seen these photos. He would have been very young there. That photo there, very, very young. Uh, I think he was like 22 when he first began being a fighter pilot. There he's married to his wife. So I'm just going to share the whole file with you and see whatever we have here. Here's some other pictures. That would be him on the left, shaking hands, right? That's him on the left. He's a full bird, full bird colonel. There he would be on the right in his flight gear. See what else. Now this would have been pretty, pretty young there. Not even sure if he's in the military. Here's later on, retired with his wife. Now these are probably some of his grandchildren. Children and grand, or maybe children. He had nine children. Lived to be 83 years old. Quite a life coming from the, they called it the great generation. These warriors who went into World War II, they were called one of the greater generations in America. You know, not a lot different than what we have today. This is a pretty good picture of him and his 
flight uniform. And what do we have here? I think these were just the notes that Sig Sokowitz made, some notes, you know, background of the colonel. Family, yeah, right here it says father of nine children. Yes. What, uh, yeah, he was born 1919 in Pennsylvania. And again, that's why they were friends. Sig, Sakowitz, and the colonel, they both had their Polish ethnic background. They were very proud of that. And that's what they were, they were friends. Here we got Department of Air Force, where the colonel is um, saying it's okay to send out some photos. And what do we have here? Mr. Sig Sakowitz in Chicago. And in this letter, the Sig says, Dear Frank. So I guess most of these letters he does call the Colonel Frank. Gabby must have been a nickname when in, in his 20s when he was a young fighter ace. Now here's a sticker from the Polish National Alliance. Not very familiar with that, or if it's even still around. So that's about it. These were letters between Sig Sakowitz corresponding with Colonel Francis Gabby Kabreski. Please stop by every so often because we're going to try to put up a daily video of all the interesting items we find in this huge collection. So, and to be honest with you, we don't even know what's in here. So, as I find it, I'm going to bring it to you. This should be fun. So, again, stop back. And until next time, thank you.